Welcome back to another episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. Today I'm going to be covering part 12 of my oak laminated kitchen tabletop guitar build. And what we're going to be doing is installing the pickups. So hang on tight and let's get started. The first thing I've got to do is dummy the pickups into the pockets so that I can make sure that they're going to line up with the strings once they're installed on the guitar. I'll stretch a length of thread from the nut back to the bridge, approximately where the low E string will be. Then I can look straight down into the, to the pickup cavities and adjust the position of the pickups until the string is passing directly over the low E pull pieces for each pickup. I'll double check my results by repeating the same effort on the high E side as well. And I'll use a sharpened pin awl to mark the position of where I need to drill the pilot holes for mounting the pickup screws. Then I'll grab a drill with a bit that's slightly smaller than the screws that I'm going to be using to install the pickups and I'll drill the pilot holes. I like to use latex tubing instead of steel springs for adjusting the height of the pickups. So I'm gonna cut some lengths of tubing uh, for each pickup. The holes for mounting both the single coil as well as the humbucker are too small to accommodate the number four sheet metal screws that I'm going to use to mount the pickup. So I've got to drill out those holes with a, it's about a 3 32nd inch drill bit. Before I install the pickups, I want to do a little bit of uh, additional work on the finish. Now, if you'll recall, I applied a Danish oil mix to the surface of this guitar. And that type of finish can take several weeks to fully dry and cure, which is where I'm at right now. So what I'm gonna to do to get everything really smooth is I'm gonna rub down the surface with a gray Norton synthetic steel wool pad, and this will leave the surface feeling and looking very smooth. After I finished rubbing out the surface with that Norton synthetic steel wool, I decided to apply a light application of 100% pure carnauba wax. And I just simply rub this on with a clean cloth covering the entire surface. And what that does is it brings out a nice warm glow in the wood and it also offers some uh, decent protection because carnauba wax is the hardest wax known to man. And so it offers a little bit of protection with that respect. However, it is the sort of product that will need to be reapplied every so often as it will tend to rub off over time. And since this wax goes on wet, it's gonna need to dry for a couple of hours before I can continue on. Now, for those of you who are wondering what kind of screw am I using to install these pickups, I'm using a number four sheet metal screw. Now, the reason why I use a sheet metal screw as opposed to a wood screw is because I can't readily source a round head Phillips slotted screw that will work for this. I can only find the flat Phillips screws and those won't work for this. I need to have a round head. So I can easily get those as a sheet metal screw. Now the main difference between the sheet metal screw and a wood screw is how aggressive the threads are. A wood screw has threads which are spaced a little bit further apart and they extend out a little bit further so they can really grip the wood. However, it's been my experience over the years that sheet metal screws work just fine, especially if you're screwing them into a fairly dense hardwood like this oak. So I, sh I won't have any problems with that and I'm pretty confident. Now the other concern that uh, I have to address is the length of the screw. 
because if the length is not correct as I'm screwing in the pickup, if I'm not careful, that screw could go all the way through the body and out the back. And obviously that would be a bad thing. So what I have to do is I have to find the right length in order to um, safely attach uh, the pickups into the body. And the basically the way I've done this in the past is I've done a scale drawing from the side at full scale and based on the measurements of the pickups and the height of the strings as they pass over them and all that kind of stuff, I can determine the length of the screw. But to make a long story short, for the uh, single coils in the neck and middle position, I'm using a one inch long screw. And then for the humbucker, which is actually a deeper pickup, that's using a three quarter of, uh, inch long screw. So uh, that's kind of how I arrive at that. But you're going to probably want to do some mathematical calculations if you want to figure out the exact length of the screw so that you don't run the risk of drilling it all the way through and out the back of your guitar body. Now before I put the pickups in the guitar, I'm going to install some plastic covers on the single coils just to add a little bit of extra protection. And then I'll drop the screws in place and I'll thread the uh, latex tubing onto the screw. Now if the latex tubing doesn't fit tight, what you can do is cut a small length of a rubber band, slide it into the tube, and then screw it onto the, uh, the mounting screw. And that'll hold it in position, which just makes it a little easier to install into the body. It also helps to make sure that the tip of the screw is extending out past the end of the latex tubing. That way, when you install the pickup into the pickup cavity, it's easy to locate the screws into the pilot holes, which are hard to see because they're blocked by the pickup itself. I'll begin by installing the neck pickup first because obviously I've got to feed the wire through the middle pickup pocket and then through the humbucker pocket down into the control cavity so it makes sense to do the neck first. And then it's just a matter of screwing the pickups down into the pre-drilled pilot holes. And I'll just sort of position them uh, depth wise uh, pretty much just uh, arbitrarily at this stage. And then after installing the pickups, I'll set a ruler down on top of the frets, uh, roughly in the uh, low and high E string position. And I'll raise the pickups until the poles are just touching the bottom edge of the, the ruler. That's kind of the start position that I want it to be in before I do the final setup where I will adjust the height to be precisely what I want based on the tone of the pickups. Well, guys, that's all the time I've got for this episode of From the Luthier's Workbench. In the next episode, I'm hoping to continue on with more of the assembly, and that's probably going to mean installing the tuners. And then I'm going to take a look at getting the electronics done. But the electronics is going to be a little bit more complicated, and um, there may be some issues with that, so we'll see. Who knows? But until the next episode... You know, as always, if you want to show support for this channel and, and the videos that I put here on uh, guitar building, head over to eGuitarPlans.com and purchase a guitar plan or plans for one of the tools that I use to build guitars. And that'll show me some support. So uh, also be sure to hit subscribe if you don't already subscribe. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because that's what tells YouTube that people like the videos. Anyway. Until the next episode, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.